Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Today, Paul Wallace and I are transferring from LA to Palm Springs for the launch event of the brand new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Rather than jumping in the very kindly provided Michelin transport van, we thought we'd do something a little bit more exciting. So we got in touch with the guys at Churo, which is essentially Airbnb for cars, and managed to get hold of two incredibly cool cars. Paul has rented this red Corvette Z06, which he is stupidly excited about. And I am in a brand new 718 Porsche Boxster S, a car that I've never experienced before. I'm excited for you on that. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to be going head to head. It is a very street legal race from here in LA on Mulholland Drive to Palm Springs for the event. Whoever gets there first will have first pick of their supercar for one of the Michelin drives tomorrow. So yeah, we are, we are tough losers and we both have an idea of cars that we like and don't like that are involved in the Michelin event. This so... is going to be my most competitive race ever. <laughs> Street legal race ever. Street legal race ever. So there's nothing more to do but jump in to our two churro cars and get going. master plan. So when we decided we were going to do a challenge, a head-to-head -head challenge for, oh, hold on a second, I've got an opportunity here. I've got an opportunity. <laughs> I've had him. I've had him in the lights and I'm now in the lead. <laughs> so yes, the reason I'm in a 718 Boxster S is not just because we are in LA and I wanted to uh, enjoy this lovely weather, but it's because you probably already know this car is turbocharged. So, fuel economy. I am hoping, or I am thinking, that I might have the upper hand over Paul when it comes to fuel economy for this trick. Because I did the LA to Palm Springs journey in a convertible Z06 at the end of last year, and I was miserable. I got stuck in really bad traffic. The whole car overheated. I was stopping for petrol every two seconds and I knew that Paul was going to choose that car. I just, I knew it. So I thought, how can I one up him? I will go in a bit of European luxury in a brand new car I have not yet driven and one that I think will get me to Palm Springs first. Maybe not the quickest, but first. So we both started this race with around half a tank of fuel. I think Paul said his uh, range was around 90 miles. Mine's already reading 135, which is the exact distance to Palm Springs. And I'm hoping I'll be able to eat that out over time. So I'm quietly confident, a little nervous, because let's not forget he has got 650 horsepower in that stupidly red car. But I've got German engineering on my side, a very quick Boxster S, and all this beautiful weather to enjoy. So today is going to be a very good day. Okay, turning on to our first freeway of the day. Infamously awful for traffic, but things look like they're moving. Uh, what to say, one car per green and I have beat Paul to the lights. Quickly, Sport Plus, and he's away. <laughs> this is a very good start to the challenge. Ryan Little. <laughs> I have to say, 
say it is so nice being in a convertible. I'm really not a fan of soft tops, but in LA, I guess you never have to put the top up. Actually, apart from the first few days when we arrived, when the weather was awful, as you saw, but the sun has come back to California and it is so good. But the small issue as I have is that I'm six foot two and in most of these convertibles, I'm too tall. And so my head kind of pops up over the windscreen. So I'm sat quite sunken down low so that my hat doesn't blow off. Anyway, still no sign of Paul. Knowing him, he will be in economy driving mode. Uh, he's probably sussed out my thinking. Uh, and I just know he loves economy driving anyway. So he's clearly back there going a bit slowly, but I assume at some point the competitiveness in him will come out and he'll decide that he needs to switch it into track mode and try and catch me up, at which point I will see him here with the hare and the tortoise. He'll fly by in some kind of American horsepower fueled rage and then I will simply re-overtake him as he sits at a petrol station filling that gas guzzler up. can now see Paul, finally can see Paul in my mirror. He's been missing for ages. I was like, what can he be doing back there? But yes, oh no, what do I do? Oh, oh that's not Paul. That's not Paul. It's completely different. Where on earth is Paul then? Getting a bit worried about him now. I were discussing uh, the challenge last night we were looking at the various routes and there were two very obvious routes out of LA towards Palm Springs that did eventually merge again about 20 miles outside of Palm Springs and we thought okay well they're basically the same thing we will both take a route each so that we aren't literally going the same way so even though I'm still ahead because unless he's done a shortcut already he definitely hasn't passed me yet I still think I'm going to stick to my original plan, fuel saving and the alternate route, even though it's like three minutes longer. So unless he comes flying past me, I'm turning off just over eight miles. And then I really won't know if he suddenly starts to put the power on. That's what's quite worrying. When I rejoin this road, I'll have no idea if Paul is ahead or behind me. Right now, I am very confident because God knows where he is. He's either in a ditch or knowing Paul he's gone the wrong way. <laughs> so Paul has just called me and he said that he was 43 miles away from our destination and I was 49 miles away when he rang. So somehow he is ahead of me. I'm literally hundreds of foot from rejoining the road that he was on and somehow he's got past me. So I'm flicking, oh, this truck doesn't kill me. I'm straight into sport mode and we got some catching up to do. One thing about the desert is it is very cold. <laughs> You've probably picked up on the fact that this cabin is extremely windy with the roof down. We are going to talk about it briefly when I get more into a sort of 718 review. But there's actually snow on a lot of these hilly mountains. I feel like we're in the Alps rather than the bloody Californian desert. Last time I came here, it was so dry and arid and baking hot. And as I say, I'm kind of freezing to death. But I refuse to put the roof up on this car, considering that I am in California and there is some blue sky. So for now, I'm just slowly becoming an icicle. Uh, we are 
bombing along this road, I have still not seen pool. Uh, the problem with Corvettes are there are so many in America that I keep seeing ones at some point on the road behind me, in front of me, and I'm like, <gasps> there he is! And uh, no, it's not. So, I don't know where he is. As I say, when I got that phone call, he was seven miles ahead. I do not know if he'd stop for fuel or not, because he must, at some point on this journey, need petrol. I, in the meantime, am now at about 90 miles range, uh, and we're only about 30 or 40 miles away. So, it's getting close, it's getting close. I can't really tell what's gonna happen, but for now, I'm just enjoying these kind of breathtaking views. I am so nearly at our destination. I have no idea where Paul is, but I think I'm about to stop caring because this right now is basically the reason I I rented this Boxster S, this 718 Boxster S, because I knew I'd have to go down this road as we arrived at our hotel. I drove this road in a Z06 and thought it was one of the most mega things ever, and I am so intrigued and excited to see what this little car is like on this road, because at the end of the day, this is what Boxers is all about, chassis and handling. one of I lost. I'm in a bloody 7 to 18 Boxster S on an insanely good driving road in California. Let's spin this thing around. Okay, go, 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 stop, stop, stop. I need to turn around. I thought he'd be miles ahead of me. He must have stopped for fuel. Oh, oh come on, car! Now, now is the test. Can the little 718 Boxster S take on? The 650 horsepower Z06, ah, through the corners, surely, look at this grip, oh, where is he though, he's gone, oh my god, he's miles down there, he must have flown down that hill, and now it's just straight, I remember, oh, how am I going to catch him? What a thing though, well done 718! Now we're back on the big, the big, I have no idea if you can hear me, I can see him, but now we're back on the big public roads with uh, well enforced speed limits. Not that we were breaking the speed limit then. Oh. Okay, the speed limit is 55, I'm doing 57. I'm breaking the law guys, doing it for a challenge. I think we're both terrified of American cops. There's a red light! There's a red light! And I'm gonna do it! <laughs> yes! Oh. Okay, we're just in front. Oh, that thing is so mean in my rear view mirror. It is all gonna come down to traffic lights. I'm in the... Oh no! No! <laughs> no! Oh wait, if I pick the wrong or the right lane... Oh, how did he get a jump on me? This <laughs> is so tense. Yes! Woo! 
<laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> he's gonna, who's edging it? Who's trying to edge it? Who's trying to edge it? <laughs> that, that is two miles an hour over the speed limit, I know. <laughs> Again, all the way around, three lanes across. Ah, come on! Ah, he's just pegging me. I did it! Oh, oh what a beautiful, beautiful place to end this drive it has been so much fun i cannot wait for tomorrow he's being all aggressive back there trying to frighten me off the road it's not happening this is it we have arrived and i am here first somehow that was ridiculous well, I, think that, I generally think that was our best challenge yet. yeah yeah it was unreal unreal two awesome cars to put head to head and it just makes me even more excited for tomorrow and the stuff with yeah, michelin i yeah. think it's going to be well, so so cool you, you you get to pick the car <laughs> i hope you guys have enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you have make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come <laughs>